1967. You know, the year that was very special. We had the Beatles who were knighted by the Queen and we had the Elvis Presley who, who was married and many things like that. But it was also the year when Robert and myself and we decided that the company that we should create should be named Oriflame and it should introduce something that was totally new in Sweden at the time a new concept in skincare and, cos and cosmetics. And then we also wanted to introduce a different kind of distribution. Not to sell in shops, but to give people the opportunity to work together with us and to bring the products to the final customers so they would have a chance to test the product before they bought it. Well, we had to find a name, and we heard about Oriflamme, which was a French banner that the French king in the 15th century used, and we thought the Oriflamme was a very good name. We found a little office in the middle of Stockholm. It was just two rooms, and we were only three people there. We found a garage, and there was a ping-pong table in the middle of that garage, and that became our packing table for quite a number of weeks where we could unpack the container, we could pack it into little bags with the sales consultants that we had recruited and who had to start to sell the products to the end customers. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. So it was really something we had decided from the beginning that we wanted to go international. We wanted to really try to build Oriflame to something big. And for us, it was almost as big a decision as it was for the Americans to put the first person on the moon. For Oriflame it was really a, a totally new challenge that opened up and it was very much thanks to Jonas' uh, uh, decision that he said now I want to very quickly go into these new markets and to introduce Oriflame. And we could never imagine that Oriflame would be one of the leading cosmetic brand names as it is today so of course we have had a success that is far bigger than we ever could dream of in Russia. Imagine all the people now we do a lot of charity work uh, in childhood and also Oriflame has joint projects in, in Turkey, in India, in Indonesia, in Russia, in Poland where we help uh, thousands and thousands of children. We are uh, one of the leaders in our industry and one of the, have one of the best product lines in the industry. Now we are starting up in China and we have uh, great hopes for the Chinese market. This being the 40th anniversary year of Oriflame, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for the achievements you have done in taking Oriflame into one of the leading positions in the world when it comes to selling natural cosmetics and uh, 
all the people in the companies, all the directors out on the many markets, you have done a fantastic job in building Oriflame to something Jonas and I never could have dreamt about. And together with us, you should be very proud of what you have accomplished. And thank you very much for what you have done. And I can only thank you all for what you have brought. It has been such an incredible experience to work together with you and to see all the, what you have achieved. And I know you will continue to do extremely well. Thank you. You simply the best. You're simply